Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you to everyone that's emailing me. If I haven't got back to you, it's not that I haven't read it. There's just so many to get through. I will get to you if you are waiting on a reading. A lot of readings have been uploaded and will be sent by the time this video is uploaded itself. If you are asking about a reading and you haven't heard back from me, I am not ignoring you. There's just a massive influx of people asking. I will respond. I will. Um, anyone that asks for a reading on a Friday, know that you will not get that reading until the Monday. Now, welcome if you are a new face and hello if you are an old one. Let's get straight into this. So what do we have here? Paid to have readings on you. Mystic knows who you are and how powerful you are. Divination in play. Dwight Schrute, that is not the correct pronunciation. You have somebody who doesn't like the way that you shine, but it's more than that because I was getting a big download on um, doppelgangers, but this is more to do with the link in the video that was sent and set up um, the Battle Royale. Somebody has been, and there's a lot of plans for psychic attacks, and this is very much when you are sleeping and when your soul goes and ventures into other realms, um, somebody trying to get into your skin, dentist. Somebody needs to go to the dentist, someone is a dentist, someone's having, and I heard canal root, canal work done, or someone's teeth are hurting. Now tell me more about these doppelgangers. Why did I hear, and I heard, I heard change the song or change the story. Student, because somebody has been, now somebody could actually be um, studying to be um, a dentist or something to do with oral hygiene but this is also someone studying your sleep patterns they're studying your sleep patterns because this is reminding me of a film that i watched where there was a witch who was um using some sort of spell work to get into another person's body and this is to do with multi-dimensional travel Okay, who wants cake? It's my party. I will cry if I want to. So this is coming back to your lovely grand high witch or warlock, the um, high priestess in the reverse, the graveyard. I keep going to, I think they're a grey witch because I keep wanting to say grey witch and the fledgling. Okay, you have an Aquarius here. You could be an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius. Aquarius, have a look where it, it actually sits in your chart. Take a breath. Patience is needed. Someone is rushing now. Someone is rushing. Who is rushing and why? Okay, let me take one more. Who is rushing? Let me see. Gang stalking is what I heard. Self-employed. There's an investigator of some sort. Gang stalking. Why did I hear gang stalking? And it says, I, I heard... And it says, because I can hear someone in my, my ear saying, I will cover everything you have. Expect delays. This has been coming out. And we've got this up or down, down. We have the Libra again. This is your business partner. Someone's coming in to try and place delays, but also place delays on a deal that's actually divinely orchestrated. This person is very selfish. They want what you have. They have a shady business deal for you. Now, I did say that I was going to do a video on inheritance, and I think this might be it. And I, I heard in part, in part. I'm going to have, to have a look. Why did I hear doppelgangers? Look what's underneath the couple. So this, these two toxic karmics are now trying to get in. <clears throat> they're trying to create heartbreak. These people don't, they're not together anymore, but they're still working together. And they are trying to get into your dream state. They, they want you submissive. Let me see, car crash, near miss. They're definitely placing it. Do you know what that near miss also is? They're trying to guide where you go astrally. They're trying to guide. Why? Why was I shown that? Why have I been given so many cards? This is a messy read. Couple and the children. It's all about your children, but your children are protected. That is one Joe. That's the rune of protection, of harmony. And the couple. Okay. 
okay come through multiple streams of income you guys are having at the moment whatever if you've started a business if you've just started a business there will be some delays however there is money owed i told you this was about inheritance you've got inheritance new business idea following passions lead some of you have actually just started opening a business or it may only be like a year old or six months old it may only be a couple of months old but you are being told by your ancestors to continue following passions lead okay there is a new business idea that may come to you in your head or you may have somebody actually come forward to give you this business idea. Now, this is in the guise of the person who is completely obsessed with you. And I heard family members, okay? Now, somebody has been planning over the last six to three to six months that this has been building. This is an accumulation of creative ideas. And with following passions lead, this person thinks that what they're doing is just just as in i heard just desserts and that's why i heard retribution because you have somebody and i heard the bible belt okay so that will only resonate with some but you have somebody on the bible belt who um they feel like what they're doing is god's word someone they feel like what they're doing is god's word why did i hear that and doppelgangers what is this about doppelgangers new business idea and I heard let them fall and that's the dominoes let the dominoes fall where they will fail to suffer or fated to suffer and I heard fail to suffer because this is the, the four the four that have been enacting this battle royale um, in the etheric realm while you are fighting they are look it says nothing will come of this situation upside down they're hoping to change destiny they're hoping to change fate and you can't do that because you have such protection and i'm seeing like bunches and bunches and bunches of money and gold this money there's this big payout which is coming look miracles they're still trying to block this in the guise of a beautiful um glittery um business idea here you go they're still studying you you've got gang stalking going on they're hiding the truth this is a family truth right, why was i told about doppelgangers what is it about doppelgangers why am i getting this mixed download for what reason okay somebody tony says hi i don't know who that's for tony says hi that could be an ancestor yeah you have an ancestor coming through you have many ancestors but someone is called tony and, but it's like Tony with an I, or it's spelt differently. Um, yeah, look, this battle that's going on in the etheric realm, there is a lot of fights going on. And what I mean is there's a lot of people falling, and that's where the dominoes came, come in. You are being guided by Arch Archangel Michael, though, okay? Because for some of you, if not many, this tower coming in is to stop you following Passion's lead, and it really is to do with affecting your children. And your business ideas are completely and utterly linked into this. But why did I hear doppelganger? Someone wants to take your place. Self-sabotage. The seed of doubt. The seed of doubt. So there are definitely some confusion spells going on at the moment. There may be issues with your technology as well. Some people may have issues with uploading things, with photographs disappearing. Um what else have we got here the thinking man yeah this is the man downstairs okay someone is playing with and i heard playing the pipe so for some of you maybe scottish um calling in the storm and resistance okay you are just being encouraged to continue to surrender to anything that comes up because expect these delays okay expect any delays there may be um a stunt in growth when it comes to your business or with money coming through um and again with technology blocks but expect this, okay? Bride in a cage and calling in the storm. Some of you need to do some cord removal. Some of you need to do revocations. Um, you are being told to be patient because this is a long storm. This is not something that will be a week and then it's done because it's a long time coming. Doppelganger. Why did I hear doppelganger? I heard it's a doozy. What do you mean it's a doozy? Let's have a look. Bride in the cage. This is someone who definitely is trying to attach. And I heard this doppelganger, they want to attach. It's the witch. 
wants to attach something so, wow it's about stealing your level up it's changing because i heard changing your face why did i hear changing face why did i hear changing face what's this got to do with astrally projecting okay yeah they're trying to block you this is very much when you're sleeping but i heard wide awake eyes wide open i don't know if some of you um sleepwalk or sleepwalk or sleep with your eyes open um, adjacent possibilities this is the astral realm this is about moving into other realities i think that some of your multi-dimensional aspects are alter you know your alternates in other um in other realms maybe also awakening to their true power as well because we all have them you know the you know the the thesis of you know or the theory of the multiverse that in every one there is a you there is a you stretching over but you know in the next one you may have a different skin color in the next one you may be a different gender and so on and so forth however and that's quite interesting because i have a feeling and i heard go on tell them that in the uh, realm that these this witch and warlock and you know all of these karmics are working towards jumping to jumping through that portal to that other reality they're going after a child naked divine lineage they're going after a child <gasps> oh they are but they're going backwards this is about time travel how interesting this is time travel divine lineage they're trying to go backwards and I heard to where it all began. Now, this is the reason why your children are important and the reason why they want to stop your children. But it's like they've changed tactics. Ah, with six, that is your balance, your abundance. They're trying to go back to the start of it to change key events, times, people meeting. It's almost like they don't want you to exist. Look at that wow five and six is five and one six there you go six and six this is your abundance they are trying to jump back through timelines through the portal of timelines to get back and remove a child there's a child they want to remove radical rebirth yeah oh wow so some of them may be doing um past life retrievals find it trying to find i heard a dark shaman how oh, wow look at that soul forgiveness and the truth they want to keep it hidden but they want to know what your past lives were they're trying to figure that out they're trying to figure where you were at what time so that they can jump themselves and how are they going to do that pray tell truth and brazen so these lies they're trying to keep them very quiet by removing more or less the existence of them now, why was I told about business, this new business? Let's flip forward, this new business. This new business, <clears throat> it may be family-based. You may actually work with some of your family. And I heard your soul family, okay? Now, if I put this over here, in about three to six months, I think you're going to look back and be amazed at how far you've come. But I mean abundance-wise, about... Um, monetary gain as well and finances because you've got harvest here and the lies okay and family look it's coming out and that song again it's a family affair in three to six months something is going to i heard your glow up but why was i told about this business this business idea and this person who is trying to come in to create a tower it's almost like they're trying to work on many many realms and across the timeline and that is what ah that's why they're trying to get in your akashic records that's why they're trying to get into your akashic records because your akashic records um they they're holding they're held in a place where time is not linear like it is here so this is to do with going back and finding out who the first child was you know from your first people who were they how can they change that how can they replace that that is crazy so you have the sun this is about stopping your growth they're also trying to oh wow whatever it is that they're trying to do in the dark you have sekhmet here who is the wounded healer but she breathes deserts just with her mouth she is fire absolute fire she is if you are um 
if you work with her, if you pray to her, if you're interested in her, she will protect you like you are one of her cubs, like you are one of her kittens. And she will heal with one hand and cut down foes with the other. And again, you've got another six. This is about your abundance and deep, deep healing. Okay. A lot of you may actually be going through dark nights of the souls or just coming out of them. She will guide you, especially with this sun being upside down. But there is definitely, and the thing is, well, she's sitting on the precipice of this battle because I do think this is a battle of your book of light. Your books of light seem to be a lot more important. And I don't say that to say that other people aren't important and that other people who are not chosen ones aren't important on this on this planet at all but there is something within your akashic records your book of light that will heal the entire planet seriously and that's why she's on the forefront that is why she's on the forefront and it's to do with your divine lineage cosmic power definitely they're looking for the key these karmics are looking for the key to unlocking that book so that they can steal and covet your power garden in the gates and miracles and it's almost like you have your ancestors your elevated ancestors your first people you have um deities there's definitely a deity or an energy that's coming through for some of you that wants to work with you for your benefit um <clears throat> but you have your entire light team almost egging on <laughs> the karmics and those of lower vibrations going try it see what happens when you try and walk through that gate see what happens to you because the miracles are upside down this is more or less them saying you cannot steal someone else's blessings it's not going to happen and i heard over my dead body look at that what grows is yours it's yours this is amazing now with that doppelganger i keep going back to astrally projecting and doppelgangers why some of you have removed quite a lot and you are a lot um, freer to move around in the astral realm, which makes it a lot harder of a target for um, the people that are trying to come in and um, <clears throat> tie cords to you, etheric cords. And also, this is also a, um, a message for many to up your protection practices when you sleep. And it doesn't mean that you have to douse your bed in holy water or that you, do you know what I mean? Or you have to consecrate that bedroom. But you're being asked to up what it is that you speak into existence when you are connecting to the divine, to spirit, to your deities. Um, you know, if you are a, a witch and you, you use... Um, the craft to light candles for protection and for light beings only whatever it is that you do to connect to your spirituality you're being asked to up it and to cleanse yourself as well because when you look at her with that shining around her she is tied so that she can't shine as bright as she needs to and this way <clears throat> excuse me this way is telling it and also maybe you need some more plants in your bedroom or get some and i heard cactuses because cactuses are actually highly protective what else do i need to know yeah someone is bringing in rage plentiful rage or wants to place a rageful um being or energy on you while you sleep this is definitely to do with psychic attacks because look you've got surrender and hostilities Okay, somebody is not um, letting go of the fact that you guys have let go, that you're not interested. Somebody is pushing against the tide. And this is family members. You have family members. And this is to do with your home. It's your home as well. And I heard a hex, a hex, a hex. Someone keeps trying to send a hex. And they may actually work while you are asleep. So I have a feeling, not for all of you, but some of you, um, this is coming from across um the world this might be coming from a distance if it's in the same country or continent as you they may be on the other side of it but you have you've removed a lot of these cords or all of these cords and you're just not interested 
And I think that really, really hits up the people that are sending this, that it's not affecting you in the way they thought it was, it would. And the thing is as well, I've said this in my last video, that a lot of these people that are sending this, they're sending it with the idea that it's going to cause towers because that's how they perceive towers. They're, they're going at it that it will imbalance you because it will make you feel insecure or make you feel rageful or make you feel like you're in lack mentality. But the collective consciousness are of awakened souls, people who are balanced in their empress energy, irrespective of gender. And these, these karmics don't realise that. So what they're sending is just not phasing you. And if it is, this is temporary. It's absolutely temporary because look, you've got creativity and you've got rage. You have, again, your first people. For some of you, you need to light a candle for your ancestors. And I heard food op offering. Someone wants grapes and tea. What type of tea? Mint tea, peppermint tea and gully root tea. So for some of you, someone wants some Jamaican um, guinea hen tea. Um, somebody else wants cerise. Um, some sort of tea that reminds them of home. Medusa is reminding you um, to continue with your healing. Continue with your healing, two and three, because someone is trying to send this tower to you. Somebody is trying to astrally project. Um, holding on to any kind of stress is going to make it easier for them to do that. However, just up your protections, and I'm hearing um, white candles. I heard for some of you, white candles only. White candles only. Resistance. You guys aren't resisting. You aren't resisting. Is there anything else I need from here? Sacred lust. Um, for some of you, uh, Sekhmet is also there and she protects your sexual energy as well. So any lustful energies that are sent to you while you are sleeping is being protected and, and reversed. Um, what else do I need to know? Yeah, because with that being that way, that's about endings. Okay. Because I had the end of a... The end of a karmic cycle, the end of a tough cycle, moon goddess. Because I always think of Celine. Yeah, but somebody is working at night time while you guys are sleeping. And I pull this up straight away and underneath you've got Satanic Coven playing with Ish. They can't control, pay the price. What's underneath? The Virgo. Please look at where your placements are for Virgo because this is what they might be trying to affect while you are sleeping as well because this is not just astral projection okay it's they are trying multiple things at the same time and i it's almost like i can see um like a long line of people by a cave and they're all um passing this candle it's a really small candle and they're they're at the entrance of the cave or in the cave coming out and they're passing this candle one by one by one by one by one but they look like they're from the egyptian times and there's small rocks as well. There's small rocks. It's almost like they are pulling away anything that has been suffocating you. Or any, and I heard anything that's been suffocating the people. Somebody um, is losing their hair. Patchy head, not from wig wearing, from all the dark-ish being summoned long periods of time. Okay? So someone may have a wig shop. You may know who this is. And bald bish. I'm not going to swear, I promise. The fish. You have somebody who is sitting on... Um, they're sitting on the fence now. There's a Pisces here who's sitting on the fence of how to go forward, okay? So there... And this dark night of the soul might actually be theirs because it's not up, it's not down. It's almost like they have gone from having their head completely stuck in the ground to having some sort of epiphany or some sort of spiritual awakening and realizing when the karma's coming back on them what's happening and what they've done this i mean if you are a pisces as well it doesn't mean that you are the karmic it also it does mean to have a look at where that placement is in your birth chart because with whatever it is that's happening with this battle royale and this fight and what people have been sending if you could look at your birth chart, you will see what is mostly affected. What is mostly affected is that your love life, is that your communication, is that your finance. Um, I've been told, let me have a look. Let's have a big shuffle. Now that's interesting with that multi-dimensional travel. It's your, it's your Akashic Records, it's your light book. 
Throat chakra, stop whispering. Who is quietening your voice? So you have got a lot of shut up spells going on. They're properly trying it. And I will say right now, any because the thing is, I've been having issues with my throat. Just a little bit of the clearing and the coughing. And, uh, uh, um. Anyone who is watching my video that has malicious intentions, that has casted anything out of malice towards me, I return in full that energy matched in that energy straight back to you it is not my energy i will not transmute it you can have it back thank you all right now i know that sounds harsh but i am not transmuting other people's energy look you speak the truth you sovereign so you have both of them whatever how you speak and how you show up in the world every day is killing these karmics they're angry, they're angry that you're speaking your truth because it goes further than that and we've now learnt that it's not just about jealousy or about, about betrayal, it's what's happening underneath in the underworld, what's happening with, you know, um, the man downstairs and the guy upstairs and this battle is real and they want in on your Akashic record, so they want you, they want you like this, they will mess with your technology, they will mess with your throat chakra, third eye blockage, trust yourself, they want there to be doubt, absolute doubt, so that you don't follow your true north, now is this up or down, feeling like a caged animal, physically and spiritually suffocating, pillow on the face, oh wow, so you've got a little bit of karma right here, what's happening, somebody who's in jail, or someone who's about to go to jail, is going to end up dying in there for something that comes out about them. <gasps> and the ram, up or down, this ram is spinning out, this Aries. Is that, that's not Aries, and why did I get Aries? Oh, I got proper Aries feelings from that. If you smell something nice, it's good energy. If you smell something bad, it's bad energy in your house. And this was actually written by um, the little one in the house, who's seven, and he was like, I wanna write something on there you need to um use your intuition if you your house is beautiful and clean and you know tidy and blah 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 but you're still smelling rotten smells or you're seeing big blue bottles or something just smells off it's because that is when they are um astrally projecting over because they're doing it in the daytime as well to try and gang watch you so please up your wards on your home and remember that you can also um <clears throat> call on the energy of the house you can call on the energy of the house it's the, it's called the david energy it's an ancient energy that is in all buildings even if they're a new build because they're connected to gaia <clears throat> just make sure that when you call on them that you are being respectful and that you show love to them and i've said this in videos before that you say hello when you're coming in and goodbye when you're leaving it will help to fortify the um the energy in your house call on archangel metatron as well please for clearing transmissions and sandal fun for grounding out any hexes any um any negative energy that may be on the land underneath your house too i'm gonna have to keep this one really short look meet me on the ninth dimension love your ancestors wow okay oh i love this it all also it also reminds me of meet me outside or catch me outside <coughs> excuse me they're also saying we've got your back in this fight come and meet us on the ninth dimension when you go to sleep say you'd like to say i'd like to you know i'd like to meet them on the ninth dimension um i've got to keep this really really short because i um i don't have a lot of time um i hope this resonated for you gave you some clarity and confirmation on what you already knew um if you're a new face and this resonated for you and you'd like to see more, I'd love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and on the notification bell. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You really do make this worthwhile. Um, and I will catch you in the next one. I have a feeling that this will be a part, there will be a part two to this one. Okay, see you later. Bye.